know, it's sort of a, uh, it's sort of nice to have something for them. Okay, so why don't we go, you want to go ahead and start then? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, we're going to show you uh, the procedure of doing a shoulder arthrogram. I'm going to be in the left shoulder here on this patient. We get the patient in position, supine, with the left, uh, her left arm supinated, so the palm is towards the ceiling. That opens up the joint space. And here on the uh, x-ray, we want to put that glenohumeral joint, the top part of that glenohumeral joint, right in the center of the imaging intensifier. And I'm using this little metal tool to help me find where I want to go. And you can see this is the ideal place to go, right near the top of the glenohumeral joint just a, maybe a centimeter, half centimeter from the top of the glenoid is where you want to go. So I'm going to mark that spot here on the skin. And then we'll get her cleaned off and numbed up. And I'll show you uh, where to put that needle. cleaned off here with a little betadine. Put our sterile rape in place here. Get this numbed up here. Okay, little little sting and a burn here. Okay, here we go. A little poke. You're gonna feel just a little burning as we go down. We get the make a little wheel at the skin and then go down a little bit deeper slowly while you're injecting the lidocaine. And when you get down a little bit deeper, you can actually check with. X-ray, make sure you're sort of headed in the right spot. And if you look, my needle tip is right there at the joint space and with where you should be. We're gonna go down just a little bit further here. Now, sometimes you're lucky enough, you can use the numbing needle to get down the joint space, but most of the time you're gonna need the spinal needle, which is a little bit longer before you can uh, really get down into there. Feel Nothing? Good. And the spinal needle has a bevel. You might want to have the bevel facing inward, but it's not too crucial. And then basically, you'll find this spot that you're going to go into again. And if you look at the screen, you'll see where my needle tip is right there, right on the edge of the humeral head, near the top of the bony glenoid, just a little bit down from that. That's exactly where you want to go. So, if you look on the screen, you can see where that needle is. It's right at the edge of the humeral head. And you can guide it right down. And when you get to the bottom, you can, is this the ice or the gap? This that's is, the gap. That's the gap, okay. So you can take some CT contrast, mix with a little bit of saline, and you can use that to test if you're in the joint space. So you put that onto your needle when you think, uh, a lot of times you'll hit the humeral head, and you'll, you'll feel that resistance. 
and that's good. Okay, now that I've put that needle right there and I've hit the humeral head and I start injecting contrast, you can see that when I inject, that contrast immediately goes away from the joint uh, or the place that I put the needle and it starts filling that joint space up. And you can tell that you're in the joint space because there will be a little recess here, sub uh, coracoid sort of space. It's actually the subscapularis recess of the joint space. And you'll see dump some down here in the axillary pouch and even some overlying the humeral head. So we know we're in the joint space now. We put some of this contrast in. So now we unhook our uh, syringe that has the CT contrast and we put our gadolinium contrast mixture in. Laura, do you know what our mixture is for the gadolinium? Is it uh, 0.5 of 1 ml? So we put half an ml of the gadolinium into uh, the normal saline, Sodium which is, which is yes. a, a whole 20, liter? 20 mls. And the 20 mls, mm -hmm. okay. So that's how we dilute that. And then I already know I'm in the joint space, so I'm just going to inject here. And typically speaking, we put about, you know, around 10 cc's, but anywhere from about 5 to 12 is normal. And we can see here on the screen, you can still see, here's my needle tip, right here. The contrast is still there. And now the gadolinium you can't see because it doesn't show up under x-ray, but we're just injecting the same spot. And once we've put in, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of 5 to 12 cc's, we just take everything out, and we're all done. Cool.